good morning everybody and welcome to Christmas Eve. I can't believe it's Christmas Eve, although when you're watching this it won't be Christmas Eve. I'm not sure when I'm uploading this but um, it will probably be after Christmas so I really hope you had a nice Christmas and if New Year hasn't happened yet I hope you're looking forward to it. But yesterday, so last night I filmed and it'll go up on Christmas Eve, a video where I kind of just did a random haul of weird shops that I went to. One of the things I picked up was the W7 Legend Foundation um, and I posted about this on the beauty group that I'm in, Mrs Gloss and the Gloss. If you're not a part of it, I'll link it down below, you have to come and join us. We've almost got 100,000 members, it's insane. And I asked people their opinions on this foundation and it was quite mixed, there was probably like 75% of people said it was really good and about 25% of people said horrible. So I'm really interested to try it. So we're just gonna go ahead and start. I've already done my eye makeup and brows and things. So we're just really gonna test the foundation today and kind of do check-ins throughout the day. And um, the time is currently half past eight in the morning. That's fine. And yeah, I'm just gonna throw this makeup on and see what it's like. So the shade that I've picked is, um, what's it called, Sand Beige, and it says Shake Well Before Use. And I've got a Real Techniques sponge and then Real Techniques buffing brush, and I'll do one on each side and see kind of what's the best way to apply it, so let's see. It's supposed to have pretty good coverage, so we'll see. Um, probably quite a lot, isn't it? A lot of people are saying to me that it's really watery, but I've actually found that it's quite thick um, in the bottle. It's not as thick as Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is obviously what the bottle looks like, but let's see, I'll zoom you in a bit. Let's get, let's get the buffing. It smells nice. Did I mention it's £2.99? I don't think I did. It's £2.99. I'll of course link it below, um, but it is currently in B and M. I think that colour is a pretty perfect match for me. I think it looks really good. Um but in terms of coverage, it's not full coverage yet anyway. So you can still see all of my blemishes there but maybe another layer will help that you see it doesn't like pour out of the ball um, like Estee Lauder Double Wear does so it's definitely not as liquidy as that but yeah a lot of people were saying it's too watery but that's thick like it's not coming out. It's the dangerous game, isn't it? Okay, let's try that much and we'll use our sponge. I think I can tell really quickly with foundation if I like it or not, and I definitely like it. There's nothing that I don't like about this foundation so far. Obviously I've had it on minutes. But in terms of like it blends easy, it doesn't look cakey, it just looks nice on my skin. So what I'm going to do is go in with a second layer all over my face. I'm just going to keep using my sponge because I prefer that and um, then we'll see what it looks like with a second layer on. And this, what is this? That's a fair amount that I've put on for that second layer. But I am trying to reach full coverage right now. Um, so that we'll see. Yeah, that's definitely got better coverage on the second layer. So I feel like that's completely blended and you can see it's got quite a dewy finish. My skin looks very glowy naturally. And I think that looks really nice. I am definitely really impressed so far. I think the colour match is pretty good. It's maybe a slight bit too dark for me, but I'll just bronze up my chest. I'm probably gonna wear like a big wheelie jumper today anyway. Um, 
yeah i really like it thus far um thus far said that anyway i'm gonna go chuck on concealer powder and pretty much the rest of my makeup and i'll come back and show you what it's like with everything on and then we will round up our thoughts and then of course we'll do check-ins throughout the day and see how it works see you soon all right, so that is the rest of my makeup on now. Everything on my face is drugstore except for my lipstick, which is ABH Spicy Liquid Lipstick because I wanted quite an orange red to really pop against my dark smoky eyes. Um, in terms of the foundation, so far so good. I really like how it looks. I still can't quite believe it's only £2.99. I think that's awesome. Obviously, the true test is going to be in how long it lasts throughout the day and kind of does it start to bunch up anywhere or rub off or just you know the general wear and tear so i'm hoping if i could get like a good six to eight hours out of it then it's something i would recommend but we'll obviously see as the day goes on i'll do more check-ins but yeah definitely so far so good i do really like how it looks obviously when you put all your other makeup on it feels like everything looks better anyway but um, the only issue I did have with it was when I was trying to set my face in place and I had to use two different powders because I felt like after using my Maybelline powder initially it hadn't really set properly so I did go in then with um, a second powder, my RCMA translucent powder and put that all over with a big fluffy brush and it feels fine now and I also sprayed my face with my Mario, Mario Badescu um, cucumber spray just once all my makeup was on because I feel like that kind of soaks up any excess powders and just refines things so yeah I think my face is looking pretty good if I do say so myself and I'm allowed to say that aren't I? Anyway so I'll see you soon in my next check-in. Sorry if you can hear that noise again I've got my fan heater on because it is still very cold in my flat. So it's now five to two I thought I would do a check-in now just because I kind of need to get in the car and get a move on but I thought I would show you my makeup kind of now as it is I mean obviously it's been on what let's say 9 o'clock 10 11 12 almost five hours I can't be right I put it on what half eight wow I've been awake a long time well, it's been on almost five hours and it still looks, I would say, perfectly the same. I've had no change at all. All I've had is a cup of tea and nothing, no, I had a yogurt as well. So everything else is holding up fine as it should. I did add some Stila Kit and Karma Magnificent Metals in my eyes just because I wanted a bit more kind of like glitter sparkle. But apart from that, everything's the same. Obviously no touch ups, that's the point. I've got to show it kind of as it is. Um, so my next check-in will probably be in quite a few hours. I'll be going through to my grand's house in Linlithgow, obviously for Christmas. So I'll do a check-in from there. But yeah, five hours in, I'd say it's looking pretty fab. What do you think? Last of the Christmas supplies. Family circle, Jaffa's angel cake, and Kinder bonbons. What do you think of my makeup today, darling? It's good. You like it? Better than yesterday. Oh. So I didn't actually vlog that long ago, but I just wanted to show you my makeup under Tesco lighting. What time is it? Uh -huh. About half three? Four-ish. It's about half three or four. What do you think? So this is gonna be my final check-in. It's now around 10 to eight, so let's say eight o'clock. So my makeup went on, let's say 9 a.m. So it's been on for like a good, good long time and honestly I think it's doing really well so um, I think this is probably the best lighting I can find in the house because I didn't bring any of my lights with me of course. I'm definitely shinier like through my t-zone but I get like that with all of my foundations after a long time of wearing them and I mean everything else I said put look at this liquid lipstick still totally fine after what how many hours I need to work this out? About 11 hours. And I've eaten obviously lunch and dinner and it still looks fab. But in terms of the foundation, it doesn't, oh, this lighting's really bad. It's not broken down, it's not rubbed off or anything. Although I'm one of those people that, cause I wear a lot of makeup every day, I don't really touch my face much during the day. But I will say like it's, 
see my smile lines there? It's definitely settled. But apart from there, I think it's done a really good job. So for £2.99, this definitely gets a thumbs up. I would say it's definitely more of a medium coverage foundation as opposed to full, unless you're willing to put on two coats, which I did. And I would say it doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't look cakey. Um, I did use a nice um, facial spray as well, so obviously that helps. But yeah, um, so this will be my final check-in. So please let me know in the comments what you think of this foundation or have you tried it? And I also want to do a full face of W7 makeup because I'm so impressed with this foundation that I want to see what the rest of it's like. So um, let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. And give this video a like, leave me a comment, subscribe and come follow my Instagram to make me up missa. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.